I'm not gonna lie to you, this is one of the top worst nights that we spend on the reef. Um, it's been very windy and very choppy, so the boat keeps moving, but we're still determined to make the most of it. I mean, we're here, so we're gonna go for a snorkel this morning. Uh, we are waiting around midday because it's gonna be low tide. Oh, I take a chance, will you let me ride? I could be the best thing in your life. In the last episode, we were on our way to the reef, but we had to stop to seek shelter in Grafton Bay as we just didn't get a good feeling with the wind conditions. So let's finish this passage. Isn't it a bit early? <laughs> no, no, it's only 6 a.m. <laughs> Why are we up? So the wind is supposed to be better in the morning than in the afternoon, so leaving early makes an easy passage. The struggle is always like picking your window. Very early this morning it's a bit better because there's a bit less wind and it's more southerly, so it allows us to go a bit more south um, on the reef, so that's nice. On the other hand, that means that we'll probably be arriving somewhere in Milling Reef or one of those reefs at low tide and today is a very low tide and usually we prefer arriving at high tide or as close to high tide as we can so different ways of doing things uh what do you prefer having an easy anchoring or having a smooth passage i don't know but today we're picking the smooth passage <laughs> a lot of wind um, this evening and tonight so um, we let out like 70 meters of chain which should be enough like to be comfortable or oh, looks like there's clouds coming so, and it's windy as hell yeah the water is warm all right let's uh, let's settle down for now yep settling down apparently means sleeping we were just very tired for some reason and i wasn't far off seasickness during the passage so a bit of rest was much appreciated I'm not gonna lie to you, this is one of the top worst nights that we spend on the reef. Very windy and very choppy, so the boat keeps moving, it's just not very relaxing. On top of that, we are anchored in how much? So, so we're supposed to be anchored in like 11 meters, but we were swinging in the wrong direction and we ended up in 20 meters. So yeah, it's just like, we have a lot of chain out, but it's just never very relaxing knowing you're not sure if you're gonna hold and you know, it's just like a lot of stress. So yeah, it's been a pretty sleepless night uh, to say the least. And why we look so tired. Yeah. But we're still determined to make the most of it. I mean, we're here, so we're gonna go for a snorkel this morning. Uh, we are waiting around midday because it's gonna be low tide. So that means it's gonna be a bit less choppy and after that we're probably going to try to move the boat to a better area because yesterday when we did arrive it was kind of tough to find the right spot because it was very cloudy um, and it's a bit better today so we're going to try to find a spot that is a bit better so yeah let's uh, get to change uh, go in the water have a snorkel and then move the boat let's go and explore time to go yeah. 
we've put the dinghy anchor. Let's go check it as well. See if it holds. And yeah, in the water. was good i think it's one of the best uh, calls we've seen so far in the great barrier reef yeah i mean it was good it was beautiful there was a lot of fish a lot of calls that are actually alive which is not everywhere at the moment there's a lot of bleaching but here soft and hard calls beautiful i liked it what about you yeah best that we've done in a in a long time for sure yeah for sure i think we're gonna stay here for a couple of days because there's a lot of places to see around this reef so I'm um, gonna find a better place to anchor because last night was not good at all. Located a few patches of sand that we can anchor into. So let's have a look and let's hope we find a better anchor. All right, time to move the mothership. When we arrived, we dropped the anchor about here, but now that we can really spot the boomies, Let's move it here. So, day two here, and we are going for a dive. I'm so excited! So yeah, I need to get down there, get my BCD, um, and the uh, tanks and everything are over there we know everything is working from last time because what wasn't working we changed and yeah let's hope we can enjoy it uh, we found a few dive sites and there's actually a diving boat over there so we are hoping they're not going to move to the dive site that we've chosen because we don't really want to dive with them but yeah fingers crossed otherwise i don't know maybe we can pick a different site we'll see so yeah let's go Good day. See you, babe. 
<laughs> this is where we are anchored and all the dive sites around Milin. So the wild side isn't really an option because you need northerly winds to dive here, which isn't the case today. We've ruled out Petage as well because we went snorkeling there yesterday, so there's no point going to the same site again. We wanted to do either the well or the three sisters, but by the time we got ready, the dive boat did indeed move there. So we tried going to Pools, which is supposedly two large deep bummies just off the main reef, but not that easy to find once in the water. So we could only find one bummy, ended up being a very short dive. Getting ready? Yeah, getting ready for our first dive with those equipments. So let's see if everything is working. So yeah, we're gonna just jump in the water, swim like 50 meters, and there's a big bummy here. So not gonna go too deep, but let's try to go around this bummy and see what is there to see. Apparently there's a lot of fish here, so um, be good. Let's dive in the water. No one The dive was um, not a failure because we actually went for a dive and we did, but it was way shorter than expected. <laughs> so the bummy was th that we were looking at was actually quite good. Uh, it looked great, but it was quite small and there was nothing around. So um, as soon as we've done ar gone around the bummies twice, we decided to stop. But it was beautiful and we managed to test all our equipment, so all our gear. So was good. Tomorrow we don't have to fill the tank I think and we can go for another dive down there. Uh, not a deep one um, because we don't have a lot of air but enough for another uh, shallow dive which is good. Nice. Yay. I love this kind of day where there's almost no wind, blue sky, perfect condition. That's it for us this week. Come join us next Sunday as we're moving to Arlington Reef, which is in a green zone, which means spare fishing. I hope you liked this episode, which you can show us by dropping us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. They say I'm crazy, but I just wanna lie in the sun.